Hey everybody, my name is Stratex and welcome back to Star Set. Today everybody is going to be the day that we get our flagship for our fleet. I'm either going to get enough money after this bounty mission to get myself a battle cruiser or a, a battle star. Yes, it's not the one from TV show, it's called a battle star, but it's basically a really, really big carrier. <laughs> it's going to be pretty awesome. Now, this is the bounty we need to take down. Uh, Oberon's fleet. For some reason, I was going to say it's marked as being quite a lot of money for killing them, but they have a lot of carriers. I just realized that so this may be a bit of a problem there. The, wait, the Voiders Union. Uh, for some reason, I'm not really scared of the Union for some reason. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they are powerful, but I just don't really quiver in fear when I hear their names being said. So, uh, what we do, let's just send the ships over this way. Actually, what, I'll change around a little bit. Let's do this for now. I'm going to be a bit cautious. We'll see where the enemy main fleet is, and then we'll deploy all the small ships afterwards. The last thing I want is my guys, like, zooming towards the battlefield and then being attacked by, like, 20 fighter wings and being destroyed. I mean, most of my big ships do have the capacity to fight back against fighters and stuff, including mine, but not against... How many carriers do they have? Like, seven? <laughs> Probably a bit too many at this point for us to deal with, but we'll see. I guess we've also got a little bit of fighter cover here as well, which might come in handy. It's kind of annoying they've been given the sensor jammer, by the way. Um, we'll see in a second what happens afterwards. It's the calm before the storm. I don't think the Royal Union ships were particularly fast or anything, so it may be taking a while to actually get down here, but we'll probably see them in a minute. Oh, there's some over there. Let me see if I can go and say hello. Why, hello there! I don't know why I attacked that quickly. <laughs> I wasn't even in range! I was just too... I was too excited, everybody. I can't help myself. Ooh, I got a nice little clip there. Okay, I'm definitely seeing some fighters right now. Okay, there's a lot of them. Go, point defense. I believe in you. <laughs> I like how in these kind of battles, you're mostly just left below going, I hope my point defense works. Okay, now the battle's actually started. Let's deploy the rest of the Navy. And also, I'll tell my guys to capture the... Ooh. Not that, though. Let's do something else, shall we? Uh, let's do a engage command. Wait a minute. That's already quite injured. I wonder if there's somebody nearby that attacked it at some point. I reckon a good old shot from our old siege cruiser can kill that, even though it's miles away. Okay, so we're going to do a probably an engage command on these guys here. Let's get these guys to start attacking. Uh, the little fighters, though, if I can actually select them. No. <laughs> no, I can't. Uh, let's also do a command over here. And I guess we'll just see what happens. I'm not really happy about that, to be honest. I will put the siege weapon on there, and you guys go that way. Done. Okay, sorted. That took me a long time to do commands. I'm normally a bit more decisive than that, but it is what it is. Okay, let's be a little bit careful. There's a lot of enemy ships just floating around right now. After we've killed the first wave of fighters, it should slow down dramatically. Okay, I want to go around the flank and see if we can get some kills here. Unfortunately, the dictator is not on the front line. It needs to be at the front. We've got a random battle carrier instead. Okay, screw it. Let's go. They've got electricity. Interesting. Help me point. Oh, I love the point defense. Oh, no, they got me. They got me. Oh, no. Big trouble. Big trouble. If I stop moving, it won't flame out. I can still move a little bit. Okay, good. The uh, siege weapon has arrived. Oh, thank you, point defense. Okay, good job, guys. I lost a falcon. Wow. I was expecting that to happen. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, guys. The ships that I thought might die, that was not one of them. That was definitely not one of them. We can recover afterwards, though. It's fine. It, it's merely a flesh wound. Yeah, so one of the things I did want to kind of change my fleet was to get more fighters anyway. And as I described at the start of the episode, we are going to get some kind of carrier very shortly. So... Oh, I'm not liking this. This is not the way... Why did you do that? <laughs> That poor fighter pilot just got hit by like the Death Star, pretty much. I don't think he was probably expecting that to happen. Uh, can we get rid of this mission? I think it's kind of causing more problems than it's solving. Okay, I'm going to see if I can handle this guy. Okay, unfortunately, before I start attacking, they got a little shot through and destroyed most of my guns. So I haven't got any weapons right now. So there's not much point in going over there. Nice job, guys. Okay. Oh. Okay, let's do it. Oh, perfect timing. Oh, Condor, that guy's screwed. I am being chased by a lot of fighters right now, I'm aware. <laughs> I hope my opponent defense works. You got this, guys, don't worry. 
Oh, they did you know what they destroyed with that attack? The point defense systems. But at the same time, we seem to have killed all their units anyway, so it's fine. Oh, apart from... Oh, it's okay. I'm going to keep trying to swing left so they don't actually hit my uh, working engine. That went pretty well. I can't believe we lost the Falcon. They must have some kind of bomber wing I wasn't aware of. Because the Falcons are normally pretty... They're not that tanky, but they have armor. They wouldn't die that quickly normally. Ah, oh, perfect. This guy is out for the count. Okay. Oh, I've taken a little bit of damage, unfortunately. Done. Oh, well, that's probably not a good idea because how many fighters are nearby. Did that fighter... Does that fighter have some kind of EMP when it goes past you? Did you see that happen twice? Every time it passed past me, it did like an EMP-like lightning strike. Maybe I'm imagining things. That is, it, hmm, I, I don't know. Let me know. <laughs> Did I, am I seeing things, or was there some kind of EMP element to that fighter there? We're running out of fighting time, unfortunately. I thought that was enemy fighters. That's why I backed up a little bit. Okay, enemy down. Perfect. So we've got a one enemy battleship left, and I think this bounty is in the bag. I hope it's not too bad with the damage on the... Uh, Falcon there, but we do have the perk that allows us to recover nearly every ship damage in combat, so it should be okay. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna <laughs> borrow through your hole with a repeated Solos cannons. More of, oh, I was shooting an armor piece, I didn't even realize. Done. Oh, it's split literally. Wait, let's thread the needle. Thread the needle. Oh. Okay, well, I tried my best, okay. <laughs> I threaded the needle first time. No problem there whatsoever. Okay, are we done here? Yes, we are. I also lost a fighter. Okay, so the game should let me recover these. At least I hope so. Uh, did we kill the main enemy? Yes, we did. Let them go. Ship recovery. Get those back up and running. They didn't even get any demods. That's the beauty of that perk, everybody. Well, literally, it cost me nothing apart from the cost of uh, CR going back up to maximum. Okay, done. Done. We have enough money now to get ourselves something pretty uh, sexy, if I say so myself. So, uh, also, I did just notice people leveled up. So, let's have a look over here. Maxim has leveled up. You are going to get yourselves... Ooh. What to get, everybody? What to get? Ballistic weapon range is probably... I didn't realize I even had that. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I didn't realize that was actually a thing. So, yes. <laughs> we have a lot of ballistic weapons in this faction. Uh, system expertise. Probably going to be the one we want to pick here. I'm I'm flabbergasted, everybody. Yes, I use that word. That we have not seen the gunnery implants yet for this character. We're, we need that skill. It's really, really useful. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, so I was thinking about the elite version. I probably should never have made that elite. <laughs> That's probably not a good idea. Actually, can we fix that? Is there a way to remove this somehow? I don't think there is. I think it, he's permanently cursed with a, in, a bad thing there. It's okay. It is what it is. Anyway, so that's pretty way pretty well. We've got some more level ups. Uh, this guy's getting a lot of options here. Helmsmanship, yes, for sure. I definitely want to get that one. Um, that's a pretty good one to make elite, actually. I f I'm very tempted to do it. Yeah, screw it. We'll make it elite. Uh, is it? There are many different skills. I think there's different... I think that is a good one to make elite. I'm going for that one. What, what skills do you guys make elite? Oh, we're actually running out of story points, by the way. I'll be careful for that. Uh, yes, gunnery implants. Definitely want that one. Let's also make that elite as well. Done. I'm pretty happy with that. Probably the field module will be another one as well. You want to make elite if you have a choice. Okay, I'm pretty well. Let's go back to the uh, Imperial, not our Imperium, the Imperial world so we can actually get ourselves a big ship. I might have a, I might choose between the two though, because I'm not exactly sure what one I want to pick. Uh, it probably will be the one that's a battle cruiser, because I can use that as my personal flagship. And we'll get a battle star later on. I think mostly because of the speed, it might be more my kind of ship to use. Okay, so where on earth are the gates? Where's the gate from here? It's over there. Yeah, okay, cool. Let's go. 
Because I'm pretty sure anyway, the Battlestar costs like probably around the much money I've got right now, but it means I won't be able to equip it. So it probably won't work out anyway. Let's go back around this way. Oh, oh I thought I was going to clip into it then. What the? Oh, it's one of those things. Is that one that reduces my speed? No, it's not. Oh, it is! Oh, screw you! Get out of here! Leave! Yeah, that's it. Get out of there. I don't want to see you leave my home. So I was playing God of War the other day. Anyway, um, when is it going to come out on PC, Ragnarok? I didn't finish the first one yet, to be honest, but uh, it was like three-year gap or something stupid. <laughs> I want to play Ragnarok, guys. What can I say? I'm, I refuse to buy a console because they, they try and make themselves relevant by having <laughs> stupid exclusives. I'm not a fan of exclusive anywhere, by the way. I don't care what if it's a console or a PC. I don't like exclusivity in any way. I think it restricts people. Anyway, um, let's go over this way. And let's see if we can still buy ourselves a big ship. Now, last time I was here, they actually had both of them for sale. Now, hopefully that is still the case. If it's not, well, that kind of sucks, but it would be. it is what it is. We must witness. Okay. I would like to buy a giant battle star or something, please. It's got... It's gone! They're both gone! This is the worst case scenario. <laughs> Damn it! Why are they both gone? Oh, no, buddy. What a disaster. I was not expecting... <laughs> I was not expecting that. That was not the That was not the plan, everybody. This is what happened last time. When I was like, oh, I'm going to buy a Dreadnought. And then I go into the game and it doesn't appear for three hours. I'm like, well, the game's just screwing me over at the moment. <laughs> it's just not being delivered. Maybe this random world has one instead. Aha! The Matriarch. Okay, so that was way more since I thought it was. That was... Wait. Wait, 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 wait. There's a phase cruiser? <laughs> what? Just notice right now, there's a phase cruiser apparently. That's wild. But we're not going to get that. It's, I definitely want some kind of... Oh, I'm so upset. I'm really upset. Is there other Imperial Worlds nearby we want me to check? Because I really wanted to get one. I don't think they'll sell them in a normal world. Let's have a quick scout around with my... We might have to go and check the... What's it called? There's a place in the middle of the system. Is it here? Yes, Prison Fiend Port. Let's go and check that. You never know. You might get lucky and they might be selling the Imperial Heavy Ships. And if not, they're going to be having some pretty good guns there anyway. So you can probably get some general gun upgrades. Because a lot of my ship guns are not using what I want to use anyway, so... Oh, I should have dodged that. No. To be fair, it doesn't cost much to repair at all. The Twilight Gate. Still a better love story than Twilight. Even if it's just a gate doing nothing. <laughs> the Lost Gate. Oh, I could have got a thing here at some point. Okay, so do you, my friend, have... No. <laughs> This is the world. What is? What are these ships, man? These aren't high-end ships. Look at it. It's just a. It's a pile of junk. Ah, oh, damn it, everybody. Well, it's it's over. It's uh, my dreams are just over, everybody. I guess we'll have a quick look. What's here, though? You never know. There might be some cool stuff. Uh, let's go into uh, this mode. I want to replace this if I can. What is that? Capacity <laughs> rod launcher. That sounds like a fun time. What actually is that? A high-powered linear mass driver. Do you know what? That sounds like a fun time. I might actually equip one of these somewhere. <laughs> I I don't think I can not have this. <laughs> this is what kind of gun is that? I've never seen anything like that. Wait, we have to try it out. Wait, this may be awful. We have to we have to investigate. This is to my basic kill a mule a test. I'm kind of excited to see what this does. It does look pretty fun. Hey! -ya! Wait, I'm out. Wait, wait. Oh, it actually pushes it back as well. The reload rate's pretty awful, though. The reload rate is pretty abysmal. Oh, it has EMP as well. Interesting. Oh, the reload. Look at the reload. That's why the reload time is insane. Do you know what? This is probably not the best thing to be using on a ship like this because it hasn't got a lot of weapons to follow up. But if it does get closer. It is pretty badass, to be fair. That is a pretty cool ship. Because this is my anti-armor after, which would follow up, but... Do you know what? This kind of works. I'm kind of digging it. We might need to get some more rods, everybody. 
Yeah, I'll get him. I'll get more rods. <laughs> get more rods. <laughs> rods for the rod god. Um, uh, I need anti arm at the front, don't I? I can't just have rod gods. Damn it. You can't just have infinite rod guns. What am I even thinking? That's insane. There's also some different stuff here, which I might be tempted to use as well. Well, let's not spend too much time, bro. I'm going to get carried away otherwise. We're going to spend the entire episode just buying random junk. Uh, what? Ooh. Ooh, ooh, look at those. They look pretty funky. Oh, I'm, I'm falling into a trap, everywhere. i got to leave this place. If we don't leave now, we never leave. But let me just quickly, um... Yes. I'll get some Thunder Fighters. They are way better. Way, way better. Than the other one. We'll take those. Thank you very much. Let's get the hell out of here. Although, rod guns. <laughs> no! No, me! Break. Wait, wasn't there one of any to change? Uh, not those. W where was it? Was it my. I remember if it got... There was a ship I wanted to agree, but I can't remember what it was. Ah, it was this. It was this. Sorry. It was this gun here. I need to get rid of these pulsars. They suck. Okay. You know what? You know what, everybody? I kind of feel like it might be... Wait, so what we got right now? We got... That may be a bit overkill. I know I said we're going to leave, but I just remember something. I want to try and add this, don't I? I want to try and make this an elite package. Attack mode all increases fire, fire rate of fighters and flux usage reduction. But it costs 35. That is ridiculous. You know what? That's not going on much. That's, that's... We... We'll change it to do this. No, we won't. Give me a second. I'm going to make this an amazing ship, everybody. You're going to be amazed by how good this ship is going to become. Can I fit two on there? No, I can't. Okay, it's fine. We'll deal with it. I'll just do a really basic suppression gun. Oh, these are pretty good. These are from Dive Away Avionics. I remember these. Yeah. Let me just put these on and then we'll leave. Unless there was a high velocity driver. No, there's not. Never mind. Okay, we're leaving. We're leaving. Screw you, game. I can't fit them on. Okay, damn it. I'm still leaving. <laughs> nah. Do you know what? Screw it. Let me just do this. That's going to be a very weird ship build I've just made here, but we'll see how it does in combat. I'm leaving! I'm leaving! They can't stop me! I've left! <laughs> Damn you, prison freeport, ruining my time! I can literally probably spend like a, a four or five episodes just looking at fleet design ships and <laughs> never go anywhere. It's a big problem I have. Anyway, um, so apart from me not getting what I wanted, that's kind of a shame actually. I guess we can maybe look into doing some other stuff then. Uh, let's go back over here quickly. What I might do instead then, let's get ourselves a bunch of supplies and we'll see if we can start attacking people. Because that also works as well. I can't really make any heavy industries yet, unfortunately, until Terra levels up, but we will do it at some point as well. And we can go from there. Oh, I'm really upset though. I really wanted... The game's done it on purpose. As soon as it realised what I had, it's like, delete all the big ships. Just delete them and remove them from the game. No. We're not doing that. We're not doing it. It's still gone. <laughs> no! I like how this combat phrase looks pretty cool, by the way. I'm a big fan of that. Damn it, game. It's fine. Okay, where is the nearest hostile enemy? We're going to go and take some territory, everybody. We're going to go and just murder people. Um, Looted path, base, probably not what I want. Must be somewhere we can grab. I think, were they over here? There. Wait a minute. That said, that station I attacked a while back was actually owned by the Imperium. They must have taken it over at some point. That's pretty cool. Let's go this way. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to maintain 500 grand for the purchase of a battle cruiser at some point, okay? Anything above that, we can spend. That's going to be the new plan. And then once I get my battle cruiser, I'm leaving that faction so we can make, we can act to our own faction instead. It's all part of the plan, everybody. 
Nearly there. So the last time I, I messed with the Volkov Industries, they nearly killed me. Oh wait, are we not at war with them anymore? Wait a minute. No, 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 don't tell me this. Don't tell me. Don't, don't, ah. Oh. They made peace. <laughs> peace in our time, but I want to be fighting people. There is a pirate, there is a, do you know what? I'm going to take over the pirate, pirate, pirate base, screw it. I, <laughs> I want to start invading people. I'm taking over that base, okay? It's fine. I'm taking it off them. Where is it? Because we can make this a temporary... Um, edit. We can use this base to use the um, shipyards. At least I hope so. Before we do this, let's grab a little bit more marines. Oh, they won't let me dock. No, screw you guys in. You ain't got any more money. Okay, let's do this. Now, it's going to be a station battle. Uh, I do think most of my ships can handle a station battle, but some of them can't. So we've got to be a little bit careful here. So what we do, we deploy the big boys and we leave everyone else out of the battle. Let's go. I like all this purple. It's so elite now. Oh, look at those thunder wings. They're so cool. I love them. I love them so much. I can't believe the siege vessels attacking fighters with this cannon. <laughs> it's pretty crazy, really. This is where the siege weapon should work out pretty well, though. Don't kill your friend. Uh oh, I don't know why the carriers are... Oh, my God. Why would you do that? What is wrong with you? Stop it! Okay. Yes, I just headbutted my ship out the way. <laughs> Let's just not talk about that. It's the headbutt maneuver. Gently nudge him away from combat. You're getting very close, my friend. Do you not want to get some more range between you and that station? To be fair, he is killing it. I mean... I say I'm criticizing my siege weapon there, but it has done its job. Uh oh Okay, next one. This is the big one, anyway. put a dedicated targeting computer on that ship. I don't know if I did actually. I'll check it afterwards. It's getting very close to the enemy. I think because its max range is very low. So I need to give it some longer range main weapons or I need to mess with Zion a little bit more. Because it is having trouble. You can see it is having trouble with capacity and flux. So it does need to be improved. That's This ship is currently vulnerable to being killed by anybody. So I mean, it's not doing that bad, but it's a bit too aggressive. Oh, I don't trust you. <laughs> you can go around, okay? I'll stay here. I don't trust you at all. We've got some rods. Oh, yeah, there's some rods. Good job, everybody. Station destroyed. Okay, we've got some cool supplies from that as well. I'll take all that. Okay, so I'm going to do an auto bombard. Excuse me. Apparently there's enemies nearby, so I can't do this move. Where are the enemies, game? Tell me. Where are your enemies that I... Okay, whatever, it's fine. Um... Oh, I didn't read it, sorry. It does not have any undisputed military targets. That's fair enough. Uh, in that case, look what we can get for a raid. Nothing. Okay, so I don't care about temporaries. I care about victories. Invade World, I have 699 Marines against 88 Militia. I'm pretty sure we got this one in the bag, everybody. Proceed with the invasion. I still... This still annoys me, by the way, this entire system. So I kind of wish they fix it at some point. <laughs> I mean, like, having to manually deploy millions of, like, units is jarring, everybody. It is pretty jarring. I'm not going to deploy the entire thing. I'm just going to deploy uh, four squads and then we move on. Give it a few days and we should win this one. If I look at the actual map below, it sh it's a victory. It is a victory. 
Don't mind me, game. Just gonna wait out a little bit. We will eliminate the pirates. And we will make our Imperium. Yeah, so I'll turn this trading post into the main military base in the core sector. What? Oh, it's because I'm commissioned. Brew you, it's mine, okay? Not yours, mine. Do you know what? That wasn't that bad, to be fair. I lost 15 relation points. That's not that bad whatsoever. Anyways, I've got a new base now. It's pretty cool. Um, let's have a quick look at what the base has to offer. Mining base. That's irrelevant in this situation. So we'll delete that right away. We'll also delete the station as well. So if I'm going to get a station, by the way, I didn't show this before. There is an Imperial station. Society. Imperial station, everybody. So, as this is actually going to be a... What's going on here? It's going to ha Oh, it's got stability issues because of so many problems. i got to deal with this immediately, haven't we? It's going to be a big problem. So, what we can probably try and do then is panic, everybody. Mild panic. And also, I'm going to put down probably... I don't know if I should do that or I should just start off by doing heavy industries right away. It's going to take a while to build anyway. Let's be cautious. No. Yes, caution, caution. Okay, so I've got to fix the problem. The problem right now is there is a ridiculous amount of issue with stability. Uh, I can spend my stabilize. I can't. Recently invaded. Never mind. Okay, so... Mismanagement penalty. Excuse me. Is that because i got too many worlds under my tenure? It is. That is literally why. I don't want to do it, but I have to assign this person temporarily. Just so I didn't get a negative modifier from that. So right now we have plus six. Well, it's, pr oh, it's, it's not good, everybody. Negative four unrest, which is pretty bad. Now, I'm pretty sure you can talk to the governor to reduce that. So we quick. Oh, you don't, you don't fit in. Sorry. <laughs> You're not an imperial commander. Uh, let's just deliver some surprise. But why? So I, I haven't looked into this too much. So I'm a little bit new in this. I just spent all my supplies on I? So the issue with this place is stability, right? Rebellion. Increase the price of marines. So if I just dump loads of stuff here, like loads of marines. Would that, what does that, does that like fix it? Should I just try, I'll try it. I'll tell you what, the best way of me figuring this out is just by doing it, okay? So we're gonna deliver marines. And let's see what happens. Okay, so I've done that. Let's go and get ourselves some supplies because I actually have none right now, which is a bit of a problem. It's a bit of a problem, everybody. I need supplies, sir, because I just sent it, gave, gave it all away. Let's see if we can get some more from over there. Oh, yeah, this amount of supplies I have is not lasted long at all. We're already that down to negative. We've only got 100 left already. That was not good. These guys won't trade with me. What about these guys? Guys, I need supplies, please. That's not mine. I was going to say, that's a weird name. That's not one of mine. <laughs> oh, sorry, I was distracted. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Very nice. Uh, we'll take that much. Switch those guys back around and done. I maintain the 500k, by the way, like I said. I, I will stick to that as long as I remember. Though depending on the longer the video goes on, the more the higher the chance I will forget about what I said. So <laughs> it's a ticking time bomb, everybody. It is a ticking time bomb. So let's go back over here now. Hopefully the rebellion is being dealt with now because I gave them loads of marines. So I need to look into how this works properly because I literally don't know. Uh, talk to me, friend. Talk to me. It's, in theory, they should have a lot of stuff, right? I 
don't know. Is it because they haven't got any supplies, maybe? We'll leave it and we'll see what happens, okay? We'll just deal with the situation. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. While we're waiting, though, let's let, let's let some time run so we can see if it changes anything with the carny. Uh, let's go in and explore the nearby core systems, which may actually have planets in. You never know. They are literally next to the core wells, but they're not actually colonized. And also, giving the game more time to run as well might improve our situation with them spawning in a battle carrier. Or some kind of big ship I can buy. Okay, so this place has loads of planets. No one knows what they are. Um, I guess I'll just explore them all, but I don't think there's anything here that would be useful. Yeah, I don't... Would the game spawn good planets in the core systems in between in the, between the colonized systems? I don't think it would. What? Well, that's pretty good. <laughs> to be fair, though, guys, that was actually pretty okay. We find a ruin, though, could be pretty handy. Rapid fire scouting. And last one. Done. I guess after that, we'll check the other one next to it. And then we head back out again. Yeah, there's one there. Uh, oh, I forgot. This was actually just for me to take because I take over a base. I can literally just grab that whenever I want to. When we go back, we'll make sure we take those out and put them into the resource stockpile for the actual base itself. Okay, next one. Back into the sector. Yeah, because I'm mostly, I'm mostly excited about actually leaving the commission so we actually have to our own faction. Because then people will start attacking us and stuff as well. As a faction. Though, of course, before I do any of that, I want to get myself a big ship so I can fight enemies off myself. And also, we probably want to get ourselves a shipyard of some description. This place is empty. Fair enough. Okay, let's head back to the base right away then. And we grab... That's not the right place. <laughs> and we grab the stuff that I've been given. So I do wish they can do, by the way. I hope they do something like later on, or I say they, he does something a bit later on, is like maybe give us a little bit more options when it comes to like the colours and stuff of the faction. Ah, oh, damn it, man. I mean, to be fair, blue is my favourite colour. <laughs> but like, uh, maybe like a darker blue or something. Not this particular brand of blue. This is randomly trying to interrupt me for some reason. Not very nice. I keep checking, but we're not finding any blueprints over here. Those uh, tech mining bases are not helping us out much. Okay, so go back in here. Storage, grab all. And then we'll just dump them back over. And they could use those as supplies. And let's also make sure... Oh, they've got loads of marines now. They seem to be, like, filtering in somewhere. Use stockpiles. I guess I just as well put on hazard pay for all my, my colonies. Oh, I just hope it survives. Be okay, Connie, please. So right now, it's still at zero stability. It's exactly the same as it was before. Rebellion negative two. That has gone down. Or was it that one that was higher? Also, there's some apparently prior activity that's causing problems. Just for the interest of us saving this base, let's see if we can track down the nearby pirate that's causing that problem. So I don't, because I remember if you keep it at that rate for too long, at the, um, yeah, if you keep it at this for too long, it would eventually just be gone. <laughs> they would just disappear. It would be a disaster. So luckily for us, the pirate base apparently is right next door. So let's go see if we can destroy that as well. As we just killed a pirate base, I'm pretty sure we can take another one down. Yeah, what I might do as well, I think it actually tells you if I go back to this quickly if I go to Intel let's see no wrong one sorry I want to go to my colonies it does say somewhere these rooms have been stripped of easy pickings but the more difficult areas remain okay so we'll leave that going so basically I want to keep checking this every once in a while to make sure that because eventually it changes and it says like uh, it's been like scavenged or anything there's nothing left that's when you want to probably want to be deleting the uh, thing replacing with something else. Tribute demand. Is that against me? 
Wall. The VIC has sent you a uh, communique regarding the status of the trading post. Okay. That's a nice car you have there. Shame if something would happen to it. <laughs> yes. Nah. Screw you, Vic. If you want to get my car to you, I'll come and take it off me. I'll take it. Bastards. They won't take it off me. I will defend it to my last man. I, I just really hope I have a battleship by then, because that might be a problem. Okay, so the currently base is around here somewhere, right? Oh, there's a lot of them. I reckon it's by that barren world. Okay. I don't care about you guys. That's not what I was looking for. Oh, we got another lieutenant. No, I think I've got nearly all of my lieutenants, apart from one, I think, from just finding them out in the world. <laughs> They're just floating around, all these random leaders. And they're all... Oh, wait. Oh, wait a minute. You're cautious. There you go. Done. Okay, that was not what I was looking for. Uh, is it over here? They're normally attached to something. There it is. Hi. Before I do anything, there's nothing of interest. Okay, let's tell this guy. Let's take this guy down. I forgot to check you, didn't I? I need to look into that. I'll probably do it between episodes. So I'll have a quick gander and see if I can make it a little bit better. Uh oh, my flux! Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Oh, they actually bled through and EMP some of my stuff there. It's a bit annoying. Let me just do a quick event. Oh, this is a very easy one to take down. Unless my siege weapon kills everybody. Very nice. Well, I think. Oh my god, man! Oh, stop it! Stop! <laughs> it's bad. I, I never seen the AI kill their own units until I seen this ship. This ship seems to be built different, everybody. It's a monster. I think mean, it's not more powerful than it is. If it was, I'd just be dead. <laughs> Good job, guys. Pirate base destroyed. Claim victory. My base is now safe. Awesome. Also, I think we get a bounty from that as well. So, more money for the money gods. Cool. So, that has been solved. Let's head back towards that place. Have a quick look again. What is this? Why would I... Oh. Tempting. But no. It's probably got the same effect, I would say. Oh, wait, I can't reach it. It's fine. Nailed it. I'll get there eventually. Okay, after we check again, we'll head back and see if we can get that damn battle cruiser, everybody. I really want it, but the game's like, no. <laughs> You're not allowed to have a big ship when you can afford it. Only when you cannot afford it. But at this, at this rate, though, we might be able to get a, uh, the other one. But what's happening over here? Is there some kind of battle going on? Good. Kill the Volkov. They damn demand tribute from me. Disgusting. To be fair, my faction has absolutely zero uh, military vessels apart from myself, so it's not surprising, to be honest. Okay, so how are you guys doing now? Rebellion, civility, negative one. I think they need dealt with the situation themselves. And at now, we are now getting civility again. Awesome. Okay, so I'm happy with this place. I think this place is good to go again. Uh, let me just stop that. I don't know if they use metals but they can if they want now <laughs> now they have the opportunity to do it if they to, to desire okay so let's head back to the imperium land then uh was there a gate near here i could use no there must be but i just haven't found it yet let's head back to the imperial world and hopefully the game has decided to grace me with the ability to buy a battleship or something never be good to go Government victory, perfect. 
Excellent. We've executed the enemy leaders. That's how you deal with rebellion, everybody. They can't rebel if they got no people alive. It's simple as that. It's the perfect strategy. And let's go. Shame that I couldn't have found... Because the other way of doing this course would be just to be lucky and find the blueprints for large Imperial ships. But they're probably going to be pretty hard to find. Uh, I imagine later on though, when we start fighting everybody, we can go around and nick blueprints off factions by raiding them. So we'd probably have to do a raid on the Imperial world and grab one of their... What? Are you... Are you serious? Are you seriously going to attack my world? Okay, look, I'm gonna... I'm not, I've had enough of that. We're going by a big ship. And I'm gonna go and blow up the Volkov industry. Screw those guys. I've had enough of their bullshit. Oh, those trading posts are so dead. I'm literally losing money and getting nothing in return. <laughs> it's not going well. Okay. Barrel God of the Emperor. Please bless me with a cool ship. Oh. It's here! Okay. I'm buying it. No one can stop me. It's happened. I would... Yeah, we're just buying that one. Screw it. So this thing is pretty fast, I think. Uh, top speed... Where's I say top speeds? 45. Not that fast. <laughs> Before I do anything else, let me have a quick look here. Here. Okay. Let's have a look. So, overdrive. It has a big old... Boost flux dissipation capacity, accelerates rate of fire, increases speed maneuverability, and improves weapon accuracy and recall. It does everything, but increases CR degradation. Very interesting. Okay, okay. So let's have a quick look. Before we do anything else then, if we go to these packages, what do the packages do for me? So the system red lines at 50% gauge instead of 33% gauge and can be activated while redlined. There's not the great comet readiness unless redlined. So that removes the issue of it causing long-term damage to your CR. Um, that one's also quite interesting as well. What about that one? I say we go for this right away. We we'll put it on. It's, it's on. Done. Uh, target a unit. Definitely. I'm going to build that in without a doubt. I'll put that in. It's going to be my ship, by the way. So I'm going to make sure it does pretty well. Movement speed is going to be plus 20 by default anyway. So it's going to be pretty fast. 65. Um, Yeah, I'll be fine with it. I may not use this actually thinking about it. We'll see how it does in combat. It would be used in some capacity, but maybe just not me doing it. Oh, it's got a big beam cannon. Oh, that's pretty cool. Big fan of that. Okay, so first off, let's do some point defense. Let's do quite a bit of point defense. We'll make this into... Oh, perfect. Anti-shield guy. Put that in. I'm not going to be using the point defense one this time because it does mess up quite a bit. The, um, sorry, the point defense AI module. It does mess stuff up. Let's... It's got a big thing in the back, some in the middle, and one at the front. So it's basically... <clears throat> interesting. No weapons here, of course. <laughs> typical, everybody. Typical. And the fighters aren't particularly that great either. So, once again, I have a ship I want, but not the stuff I need to actually equip it properly. Which is not great for me. So we are still moving at maximum speed, right? Yes. Okay. Let's make sure we've got enough crew first before we do anything else. And let's fly to the other base. This is, bear in mind, the smaller of the two bases. So maybe the other one's got some cool stuff there as well. I definitely think I'm going to be getting foreign um, fighter ships or this carrier units. Because I don't think the Imperial fighter repertoire is too brilliant. They have one as well. Cool. We would definitely have got it then. Okay, back to the ship design. Okay, let's see. Please, game. Interesting. So it has a anti-shield Telem auto cannon. Probably be a good thing to put on the front of the ship, I'm going to say. And I would love to back it up with two Solus cannons. Which we don't have. <laughs> which we just don't have access to. Uh, on the back, maybe just a big point defense weapon. Or maybe like a high velocity driver on the back. Um, because the thing with this ship already is going to be that we're going to have a lot of excess um, 
flux. Even if I get two Solus Cannons, it's still going to be literally 1,200. So we'll easily be able to actually get enough to be offset the amount of flux being used at one time. I'm really upset about the lack of cool stuff, but why does this keep happening to me? <laughs> I guess for, it's going to suck. We'll do that for now, just so it works in combat. I think I will have a backup high velocity drive at the back, just so I can shoot guys that I'm spinning around. No missiles. I'm not a fan of missiles. I'm sorry, guys. If you want to see missile gameplay, I'm not the guy I'd be watching. Uh, as for other stuff, Trident Torpedo Bombers. These are very good. I'm going to have a lot of anti-capital ship with these. It's going to be very effective. This does leave me in a situation where I'm not doing too great with Flux, but I can still cap it out. And let's just try and increase that a little bit. What do I want to do with the rest of my ship, though? So we have another building we can do. Maybe we won't do building for a while. For now, maybe let's just put on a advanced mount so they move faster. Oh, oh I think actually I'd rather have that, actually. Okay. Should we see how this does? HMS. Um, oh, no, I can't think of a name. <laughs> HMS, uh, let's just call it the Im HMS Imperial. Done. And I will be controlling the HMS Imperial, thank you very much. Okay, so that's going to be my battleship. That's going to be the big old death ship we're going to have. Uh, let's just make sure we switch over some guys using bad weapons, like you guys. Done. Okay. I do want to try out quite quickly, though. Let's just see if it actually works, or it's going to be awful. Did I take stuff? Oh, I did. Okay. It's okay. I don't care. <laughs> Whatever, guys. You can do that if you want. So, let's just deploy some random enemy ships to fight against, shall we? Uh, let's just deploy a few of these. I don't know what I'm deploying, but I'm just deploy enemy ships. <laughs> I'll take that one. I'll take this thing. There you go. So, most of the guns are on auto-fire, apart from this big beam weapon I have. Now, I just say these are pretty cool, by the way. Uh, if we send them over, these torpedo bombers just fly towards enemies, shoot their load, and then just come back. It's sort of simple as that, really. I guess Omni Shield we have. Fair enough. The lack of uh, the Sledge Solace Cannon is going to make us a little bit weaker than we probably should be, but. This is a very rapid fire beam cam that's noticing right now. Oh, it's got ammo capacity, though, so I can't just do this forever. We try the overdrive. Apparently, this is going to turn off. Oh, I, oh wait, I only reduce it. That's, so we've got to keep an eye on it. So, what did it say? 50%, and then you start using CR. So, we got we can use it for a small burst and turn it off again. Okay, so I'm having a little bit of a problem right now because I'm not venting half flux whatsoever, and my point fence is not keeping up at all. But I, we, we got this, we got this, fine. My, I've been flamed out, by the way, that's why I can't move around right now. Overdrive is very short use, okay. Maybe I should switch out the bombers with um, some kind of fighters myself instead then. It does kind of work though, but it's, it's it's not as the main weapon is not as cool as I was hoping it would be, to be honest. And we do have issues against fighters. Okay. I guess what we could do is just have one bomber and one fighter. That would also work as well. Um, so we've got assault fighters there. How good are these? So I think we used these before and they weren't that good. The slow and bulky. Um, uh, I don't, I'm not sure, guys. Apparently, it does have... It's got Arcus Auto Cannons and Siege Mortars. I will use one of these. It also gives us a little bit more flux we could use to buff up this a little bit as well. 
Let's give that a shot for now. Let's see how this does. Okay, cool. I'll take that. I'll take that, I will. Let's also grab some more supplies, because I'm pretty sure we're going to run out very shortly, so... <laughs> and let's head back towards the VIC despicable attack on my base. Okay, uh, so where do we live? Over here? No, over here? Yes. Yeah, I was shame like the weapon, the main weapon is a bit beefier. I should what what we should probably do? Let me have a quick look. Cause I feel like the speed was okay. It just needs better weapons. Which is pretty pretty much this series in a nutshell. <laughs> I got a cool ship, but the weapons need to be better. <laughs> it's just what happens over and over again every time I play this game. This is pretty handy. Does it matter if I do that? No, it doesn't matter too much. Okay, uh, I need that. Oh, cool. I don't think you want to attack me, friend. <laughs> I think I'm a little bit out of your uh, your range there. Oh, they actually are actively hostile to me now. Okay, good. No, nope, I'm killing you. <laughs> you think you're killing me? No, I'm killing you. Oh, game? Uh oh. Oh, that's fine. Is this? Oh, that was a bit weird. <laughs> I thought it was, it's, it's crashing. Um, deploy main unit. Let's go. Oh, look how big we are. We're a big boy. Okay, so let's just do some of that. I mean, this ship isn't that... It's, it's not like... It's kind of like the hybrid between a cruiser and a battleship, to be fair. So it's not like the full-size big boy. Because the battle style was a lot bigger than this. It was a full-on massive... It was probably like those two combined. But I don't think that ship I would personally like playing as. This ship, I think, is still fast enough that I can play as it. Without being a little bit too annoyed. So that's my main thing when I pick ships to play as. Oh, I forgot. We're fighting Volvok, which are pretty fast. Let me go this way. Why, hello there. I just lost something. Like Their shields are really powerful, which is really annoying for me. <laughs> okay, that's not working out. Let's kill the uh, little guys first. That works out pretty great. Yeah, because I'm not using any flux at all. I need to just get better um, other stuff. Switch target. Nice. Okay, good stuff, guys. Good stuff. Yeah, because I can use the overdrive to quickly maneuver myself around, and then I just turn off again. Oh guys, take it down. Okay, I hope this is going to do some damage. Torpedoes launch! Come on! Oh, I think the torpedoes hit a little bit there, but... I think, I, I think I've run out of ammo, by the way, on my tri-beam cannon. <laughs> I managed to literally hunt down and kill a way faster vessel than me, so that's pretty good in my book. So I did lose my um, one of my ships, unfortunately. Do you know what I haven't done? I haven't deployed the backup. Uh, I have not. I've been so distracted by my own ship's performance, I forgot about everything else. Oh, I was on engage mode. Sorry, guys. I keep forgetting about that. Okay, maximum speed. There you go. Yeah, 178 speed for a battleship or, or a ship of this size is pretty decent. Even if it's using an ability. Okay, backup has arrived. Those big ships down there are going to be a big problem. I need to get over there immediately. Um, ideally... Oh, I don't think there's not much else I can do. I just need to get over there already. Guys, screw. Oh, no! <laughs> nice. Good job, guys. Oh, they're 
so far away. I'm trying to get over there. I'll leave this to my main fleet. I need to go and save the siege frigate. Actually, it might be okay. Oh, it's actually hurt though. Pull back, pull back, guys. Actually, both of you guys can probably leave. Let's not lose ships for no reason. Let's keep them out there, death if we can. Oh, be careful, because there's another ship just there. I don't think it's a really good, big deal, though. Oh, very nice. You overloaded it. Excellent. That was great. Okay, good. I'll get used to the ship, everybody. I will get used to it. Don't worry. It's a matter of learning. You can already see how those torpedo units are very powerful. They are very, very useful. Okay, those guys are down. You going really I should have given the other one to the other battleship I had the battle carrier so we both have torpedoes okay I think we lost one of our destroyers which are the ones that were the energy ones so apart from that I think it went pretty well yeah yeah I don't know pretty well that was pretty good Dora we can recover you don't worry no one truly dies in my Imperium we just get resurrected to serve the Emperor in death Cool. Okay, I don't think that was the attack fleet, by the way. That was just a random fleet that was nearby. So there was an attack fleet here, right? Uh, go back over there. M, important. 20 days until arrival. And it's coming from a nearby enemy system. I think our best bet is probably actually just going to be to sit next to the base. So what, I'll probably be next episode, everybody, because we are already on... Minute 57. <laughs> so yes, it'll be next episode. I do... Let's get some quick fuel first, though. Grand investment fleet. That's a... Ooh. Oh, no! Okay, we do this next episode, everybody. <laughs> everybody, thank you for watching. Uh, we have our new battleship here. Actually, before we leave, let me quickly have a look at the encyclopedia quickly. Uh, how do I do that again? There's a way to do that. I just can't remember right now. Aha! It was here. Codex. Um, ship poles, capital ships. What was it called? I was trying to find our super version. No, no, no. It began with M, didn't it? No? No, that's not it. Matriarch, that was it. This is the big version. This is the biggest ship we can get. This one... It's a lot bigger. I think it's a lot more powerful than what we have at the moment. So I hope we get one of these at some point as well. And hopefully this could be our main flagship. I probably won't play this myself. I probably won't be flying this one. But we can definitely have it in the combat. Top C30. Yeah. That's probably too slow for me. Also it's a carrier. You see it's got the command center. So it's main thing is about commanding fighters. And it actually has six fighter bays. This thing will be a devastating monster when we get one of these. But everybody. As I said before. Thank you for watching. As always. Please like, subscribe and comment below. And I'll see you next time. Bye.